In this video, let's talk about FatFX, a powerful multi-effect plugin. It was designed primarily for use with drums, bass, and guitar parts, but of course can be used with any type of audio. Here are a few samples I'll be using today. Now let's open Inspector and find FatFX in multi-effect. This plugin combines several effects, filters, and modulators in a flexible tool that can be used to quickly enhance your project. Let's start with the bandpass unit. I'm going to set the lowest and highest frequencies allowed to pass by the filter. All the frequencies outside those boundaries will be cut. The modulation unit provides four types of chorus like effects. Most of the units have different modes. The final stage of fat effects is its master section, which includes a limiter alongside conventional input and output levels. Below you can see unit labels, where you can rearrange the chain of effects by simply dragging them. Now let's move to the second track. This kick drum sounds very thin. First I can try adding some compression to enhance it. Next let's add bass enhancer, which boosts the signal around defined frequency. It's a great way to add some weight to drums. Sounds much better. The third track is the snare drum. Let's listen to it. First, let's use some compression to make it sound louder. The sample sounds bleak and lacks high frequencies. Distortion can add more character to it. Let's try down sampling it. It sounds more interesting now but still I would like to add some high frequency content and there is a way to do it with envelope follower. Let me show you how. First I will duplicate the track. On that new track I will open FatFX and activate envelope follower and use master output as a target. If we look at the master knob we can see blue line which shows us range and white dot that shows current value. The envelope follower tracks incoming audio levels and generates a control signal that is used to modulate other parameters. A common use of envelope follower is to track a sidechain input signal that is used to control filter or volume values. You can see that snare drum now triggers volume. So all I need now is to add some sound to layer it with the snare drum sample. Let's close the window and go to inspector. Here I'm going to add test oscillator before fat effects. Test oscillator is useful for tuning studio equipment and instruments, but in this case it's a great source of white and pink noise. Now I can go back to the fat effects and adjust envelope parameters. You can clearly hear white noise coming through with each drum hit. This unit is useful for creating textures too. Let's try changing sidechain to the hi-hat pattern. Now let's switch back and fine tune the snare drum layer. I think it should work. Let's hear all the tracks together. With a flexible signal path and additional modulation options, FatFX can easily add warmth, punch and presence to any track. <laughs> 